Hi, I'm Nancy Grisham. I want to talk with you briefly about the me monster. The me monster is that self life within each one of us. The me monster is the one when you've had the opportunity to share the story of Christ with a friend afterwards, you beat yourself up wondering, could have done a better, should have said this. And we worry about the woulda, coulda, should have. When that happens, the me monster is doing a post-mortem. In fact, the me monster will take the joy right out of life and out of sharing your faith. Me monster wants to jump out front and be the star of the show. Me monster wants to have more retweets, likes, subscribers, friends, Facebook friends, because me monster wants to be a little bit brighter than all of its peers. So what do you and I do when we sense that gnarly head of the monster rising up within us? Well, there's five tips that help me. And the first one is you and I can make the choice to submit to God and not to the me monster. We can choose to say yes to God and no to our own wants and desires. We can submit so much to God that He changes our wants and our desires to line them up with what He calls us to. And the second thing is, you and I can trust God over the me monster's demands to understand. The Bible says, don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge Him and He'll direct your paths. You see, we don't have to be driven by the me monster when we can be led and directed by the God of the universe. And then third, stop wrong thoughts right in their tracks. What's a wrong thought? The Bible tells us what right thoughts are, and we can compare. In fact, we can run our words through the grid of what Scripture says. Whatever things are good and true, whatever things are of good repute, of excellence, Think on these things. And if our thoughts don't fit through that grid of God's Word, then we need to kick those thoughts to the curb and replace them with true and good thoughts. And fourth, you and I need to rely on the greater one in us. The Bible tells us that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in us. Do you think that power is strong enough to overcome your me monster. I know it's strong enough to overcome my me monster. I just need to lean into him and allow him to do what only he can do. And then five, you and I have the opportunity to live from who we are in Christ instead of from our inner me monster. You see, he gives us the power both to will, to desire, and to do His good pleasure. Our role is to choose God above ourselves. These five steps will help you and me overcome our me monster. And in the process, we can enjoy life to the fullest and more effectively share the story of Christ with the people that we love. God's best to you in the process of making Christ known.